Sorry, this is my wife. All right, we got some new stuff in tech developing right now. Let's get right into it. So Emron Chowdhury just uploaded a TED Talks. Pretty much he talks about the disappearing computer. What that really means is that he's trying to wear a device or developing a device apparently acts on a large language model, is able to observe the world around him in an augmented reality sense. We're gonna have a quick look at this and then I'm gonna give you some of my ideas and thoughts at the end. One day technology would become invisible. The computer would disappear and we agree. Sorry, this is my wife. I'm gonna have to get this. Hello? Hey, babe. Hey, Bethany. Good, are you a Ted? Yeah, I'm on the red circle right now, actually. Let me show you something. Invisible devices should feel so natural to use that you almost forget about their existence. Les appareils invisibles devraient sembler si naturels à utiliser. Vous oubliez presque leur existence. You'll note that's me and my voice speaking fluent French, using an AI speech model that's part of my own AI. This is not a deep fake, it's deeply profound. This is my AI giving me the ability to speak any language, and you having a chance to hear me speak that language in my own emotion and my own voice. Thank you. <laughs> Why fumble for your phone? when you can just hold an object and ask questions about it. The result almost feels the entire world becomes your operating system. And when compute disappears, imagine this. You've been in meetings all day, and you just want a summary of what you've missed. Catch me up. Patrick is coming to tomorrow's design meeting. Bethany wants to move next week's dinner. And Oliver is asking about soccer this weekend. These are emails, calendar invites, and messages all surfaced up to the top. Picked up one of these chocolates. I used to eat a ton of these when I was a kid. Can I eat this? A milky bar contains cocoa butter. Given your intolerance, you may want to avoid it. So I can't eat these anymore. <laughs> um, But what's cool is my AI knows what's best for me, but I'm in total control. I'm going to eat it anyway. Enjoy it. <laughs> All right, guys, as you saw, it's a pretty interesting TED Talk, especially when he talks about the devices actually becoming invisible. I've kind of thought about that for a while, what will happen when things become invisible like that. We just wear them and they observe the world around us and then give us input. This is the next step in AI and it's really cool features. The language translation was really awesome. I think that there's a lot of benefit for that, especially when you're traveling, then you can talk to anybody you want. The contextual understanding that it was able to understand everything around him while he was working looks like there's some type of input in the back end. Right now, it looks like it probably still needs a little bit of work. This could enhance your life experiences. It could minimize the barriers between technology in the real world. The device could allow us to fully immerse ourselves within our experiences instead of holding up a phone in a concert. You could actually just be there and it's always recording. And then you can watch that back at a later time, which I think is actually a pretty good idea. Especially I just came from a concert in Red Rock, but I wanted to pull out my phone, but I wanted to enjoy the experience. But I wanted to pull out my phone, but I wanted to enjoy the experience. So the whole thing is, you know, you do want to be in the moment, but it's certain times where you don't want to have to be the one recording, but you want to experience it later on, and then you want to view it for your own pleasure. Future possibilities, this technology represents a significant step towards the future where AI seamlessly integrates into our lives and has the potential to completely transform how we interact with technology. This seems to be a really good idea on the surface. I'd like to see where it heads and how the AI is actually uh, held because if you want to think about it, if anyone has access to our AI models, then they literally have access to every single piece of our data. And I don't really want that. I've stayed away from social medias enough to realize that they're just using that for marketing. So with my extensive marketing background, all they're really doing is going to be getting more data to give you more personalized ads to brainwash you more to buy the stuff. So I'd like to stay away from that as much as possible. I don't know if that's going to be a realistic ask, but if there is a way to somehow integrate this into a personal where no one has access to it, I think that would be the most beneficial way. I'm not going to give up my personal data, everything I see, everything I do. I'm not going to give it up. So uh, I don't see anybody signing up for this unless 
it actually has that. It looks like this groundbreaking technology is pretty awesome. All right, uh, let me know what you think about the TED Talks. I'm gonna leave it down below so you guys can watch it. That's the wrap up for today. Thank you, have a good day.